So, my last one is a movie that I literally just finished watching right before this. I started it last night, watched about half of it, and then it was, like, really late. So, I was like, I'll finish this tomorrow. Okay. Um, it was, like, 4 a.m. So, I was like, I gotta go to sleep. Um, and that is a documentary called Wrestle. Mm. Now, the re- I, I never even heard about this until uh, the National Board of Review dropped its uh, winners for their, their awards. And okay. it fell onto the top five documentaries of the year. So okay. I was like, interesting. And I was like, maybe I'll check this out. And it's... So have you ever seen the documentary Hoop Dreams? No. Okay, so Hoop Dreams follows two kids in high school tr- who play basketball trying to trying to achieve and get a... Two uh, dribbling dudes. What? Huh? Trying to get a college uh, 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 scholarship for basketball. And wrestling, Wrestle is ba- literally that plot where it's following... The, the same, but with wrestling. Yes, where it's following four kids in one of Alabama's worst high schools. Like, literally the worst high... Like, one of the worst high schools. Um, and each of these kids has, like, a fucking really sad life. Like, a really, like sad childhood even though they're still children and like the things that you are witnessing happening in their life as the documentary unfolds reminded me so much of mining the gap um so much so where like one of the kids just found out that his girlfriend's pregnant and you kind of watch that all happen during his senior year of high school um another kid you you i mean two of the kids you see like it's so crazy seeing their they so they've run in with the cops mm-hmm. and it's just like crazy to think because like there's this documentary film crew right here which is probably like one or two people right probably yeah. two people and it's like they're just there right on the side of the road as somebody's getting arrested that they were probably like in the car with um Damn. yeah and it's it's really good it it just feels so real it feels like an absolute like like, just the, a raw snapshot of, like, this small part of this small city in Alabama. Does it um, does it still get the same intimacy that something like Minding the Gap did? Yes. Yes. Okay. I, this is, in my mind, like, right next to Minding the Gap. I think Minding the Gap is obviously a more personal story because it took, it, I mean, it was filming for 15 years or whatever, you know, where the kid who filmed it, filmed it. Throughout his entire childhood. Well, and it's his its his <clears throat> very close friends, you know? Yeah. But this, like, I mean, this thing has... Yeah. This thing has just such raw moments where it's like... I mean, the one of the one of the characters is, like, definitely probably bipolar. Uh, and he has, like, a, like, very intense, like, mood swings, you know? And, like, I mean, he, like, fights literally, like, right in front of the school with the coach. And it just feels like super real where like you're watching and you're like i don't know what's even gonna happen like i don't know if any of these kids are gonna graduate i don't know if these kids are gonna make it to the end of the documentary before being put into jail because of something like it's just it's crazy and like there's this one kid jalen who's like just the nicest kid and he has like the saddest like i mean not the saddest story but like a very sad story throughout the movie um and it's just it's intense like there's some really intense moments here and the the whole, I mean it's it's crazy because it's called wrestle you know it's about wrestling but the wrestling kind of just feels like this backdrop for to like show these kids like trying to pursue something and trying to get that you know college scholarship um and it's really good it's really damn good. yeah hey 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 Ethan can you can you give me a hand with this oh I yeah got, for sure I got a few options in front of me yeah so okay looking at this you got a box that will give you more of the weekly mini episodes. That's a pretty good pick. But then over here, I got clips from the monthly show. Ah, rats. Maybe if you just hit the circle in the middle and you subscribe and then you get both of them forever, for free. Cool. 